here at the Albert van Amber house um, to speak about my new AI sequencer. This project is called Sync. It's a prototype for a new sequencer using AI. For a long time, I think two, three years, uh, I've been speaking with a professor at the local technical university called Matthias Funk. We've been speaking about AI and AI in arts and AI in music. Uh, I came across this live YouTube channel um, which is like um, a 24-7 live black metal stream generated out of black metal data. And I thought, whoa, if I can build a computer that could remix on the fly all the music that I put into it, then I don't have to do any music anymore and it will just generate my, my sound. And then really quickly it turned out, or I found out that you need a lot of computing power to um, to do this and you also need a lot of data to do this and although I maybe have like maybe 24 hours of music that I created it's still um, not enough to run this um, machine learning aspect on it so the AI based on the audio so I was thinking to work with less computing power and I found out or I know of course that MIDI doesn't need a lot of computing power um, so Matthias, Funk and me started jamming about how can we use AI on MIDI and uh, this is the way we started working on the sequencer uh, step by step. And eventually I was able to build a prototype that is finished now using uh, my old MIDI, uh, an AI model and I can program beats and trigger my synthesizers but also video and light simultaneously uh, and those patterns can be manipulated by the old MIDI data that I put in there. Yeah so now let's have a look at the prototype. So here it is. Um, let me go through all the screens and knobs here. This is a basic 16 step sequencer that you can trigger with the knobs here. Um, there's also a bank select so you can go through all the MIDI tracks. There's an AI knob where you can per track, um, select if there's AI or not. Uh, then there's some functions for duration of the note, uh, the timing of the note, the velocity and the pitch. Um, then going to the AI aspect, if you turn on AI per step, you have to select the old MIDI file uh, to generate new notes for that step in the sequence. Um, you can control this with the um, generate, preview and push buttons. And then there are knobs to um, influence the amount of um, AI you want uh, per parameter of that separate MIDI track. Yeah, and that's basically it. And on the back is all the outputs. MIDI in out and the Ethernet out and USB C power. Basic drum beat, then I can put the AI function, I can turn it on per step. So I'll turn it on for the last uh, part of the bar. Then I'm selecting an old MIDI file, so it can make a chance, a random calculation or a calculation in real time based on the MIDI that I programmed in the past. And then I can generate new patterns, as you can see. I can do it on all 16 channels and I can also trigger yeah, analog MIDI as well as Ethernet out so I can trigger other media as well. I can also turn on the AI on all the steps of the sequence as you can see. And go a bit weirder. <laughs> 